family got to start saluting people when they're able to change their life around for the better. You know what I'm saying? Because right. everybody like so quick to kick you down and label you and judge you. You know what I mean? When you when you're doing whatever you're doing and whenever a person doing something might might be um, deemed wrong. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, man, like we damn sure gotta make sure that we be shining uh, more of a light on that and be helping brothers and sisters get there too. You know what I mean? Podcast where we're not selling nothing, we're selling itself. Yeah, man, we up here on the block, man. We talking like we on the block, you know what I mean? I got my guy Arts over there, you know what I mean? Yo, where, where you at right now? You in Miami? No, I'm in Queens, New York right now. Oh, yeah, man. Representing QU, you dig? Brooklyn, Queens, BQE connection over here. Y'all know the vibes. Know. You know what I mean? My God, man. Like, serial entrepreneur. For those of y'all that claim y'all serial entrepreneurs, my God really out here doing it. You know what I'm saying? Rapper, art curator, event producer, man. Like, listen, man. The list goes on, man. Salute, man. What's up, brother? What's up, man? Thank you for having me, brother. I appreciate you. You already know, you already know, man. Like, yeah, man, first and foremost, man, just wanted to, you know what I mean, salute you, man, shed that spotlight on you. You're out there doing your thing, you know. It, 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 it's, it's one thing to um to, to want something, one thing to, you know, talk about it, you know what I mean? But those of us that execute it and apply the knowledge, you know what I'm saying, those are the winners in life, you know what I'm saying? No matter what you're doing, no matter what market industry you're in, it don't really matter, you know what I'm saying? As long as you're executing and applying that knowledge and, and, and showing love to the community, you know what I mean, and giving back, you know what I mean, in the same token, like you win it, you're a winner. Nobody can't tell you nothing. So, like, what, 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 where did you get your start at, bro? Um, so it all began for me in East New York, Brooklyn. You know, that's where I uh, started, you know, I would say writing and rapping. Right. Um, I grew up in a very musical home because my mom was a, she used to throw a lot of house parties at our house. She was a beat girl, she was inspiring, singer, fashion designer. But due to the fact that she had kids uh, when she was a younger age, you know, she wasn't able to pursue those things. But those things lived in my household, you know. Um, right. you know, so growing up Puerto Rican descent from East New York, right. Brooklyn, I went to school. Boricua. In, yeah, Boricua, yep. Yeah. Um, I went to school in Queens my whole life. So I always got that, you know, both sides mm-hmm. of the coin, the Brooklyn hustle, the Queens hustle, the Queens right. hustle, you know. Um, mm-hmm. so that's kind of like where it all kicked off for me, where I started, uh, you know, at first my first love was basketball. Um, and then slowly and surely like, uh, music kind of took over my life. Um, around right. when, like 15 years old, I started recording music. Um, and at 17 years old, I randomly by a straight bullet got shot in the right side of my face. So mm. when that happened, um, it kind of put me into a different gear. Right. I, has, I told myself like, yo, you know, at the in that moment, like, was I doing the most to actually um, take advantage mm. of of the opportunity, which is life, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so when that happened, it just kind of flipped the switch for me where I was like, you know what? I'm going to double down on music and I'm going to go super hard. Um, right. And from there, I just never looked back, you know? Uh, kept grinding, uh, putting music out, mixtapes out, hitting the radio circuit. Um, and then slowly but surely, I would say, you know, the universe or God or whatever you believe in has a interesting mm-hmm. way of showing you validations. Um, to let you on the right track, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So at That's first, it started in music, um, but then I wanted to, you know, I wanted to take uh, control of my over my own career. So I started mm-hmm. actually renting the venues um, instead of waiting to be booked for a show. And through that, mm-hmm. for the last ten plus years, I was um, throwing events for the community for my brand, Reject Dreams, um, which is is a way of life. It's a community. It's a family. It's a collective. It's a, it's a media company, right? Um, mm-hmm. So through that, you know, I was deemed the art curator because I was uh, hand selecting every visual artist that I wanted right. to show at these events, and I was right. partnering um, mute my music, my albums and songs, but actual paintings, comic books, things of this nature, 
You know what I'm saying? So even in the space that I'm in right now, this was a space that I turned, uh, used to be one of my apartment spaces and I turned it into a mural space and I used to throw paint parties here um, and get, you know, visual artists from all over the world acclimated to what I do um, within the community through Reject Dreams and through my own music, you know? That's dope. That's dope, bro, man. So shit, man, you just took you took a negative, you know what I mean? And whatever you had going on, you know what I'm saying? And life changing, you know what I mean? Life threatening, you know what I mean? Situations, you know what I mean? And just took that and, and used that as motivation, inspiration, you know what I mean? And and that's real, man, because like what people don't know, you know, especially us coming from the inner city communities and all that, like, man, listen, like we, you know, it's, it's different energies that we be dealing with, you know what I mean? And anger be like one of them, you know what I mean? So like, right. that's like a whole energy in itself where like we we operate in that space a lot, you know what I'm saying? And it's coming from the inner cities, you know what I mean? But be able to use, but being able to use motivation, inspiration as fuel to your fire, like that's a whole, that's a whole nother beast, you know what I'm saying? And, and we got to look at that like that, you know what I'm saying? And um, be able to just be able, we got to, and we got to start saluting people when they're able to change their life around for the better, you know what I'm saying? Because right. everybody like so quick to kick you down and label you and judge you. You know what I mean? When you when you doing whatever you're doing, and whenever a person doing something might might be um, deemed wrong, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, man, like we damn sure gotta make sure that we be shining uh, more of a light on that, and we helping brothers and sisters get there too. You know what I mean? For those of the for those of them that can't really, you know, maybe transition as easily. You feel me? Yeah, no, hundred percent. I think that. Um, you know, that's kind of like what gave birth to my company, mm -hmm. Reject Dreams, right? It's taking rejection, taking adversity, taking challenges sure. and odds and using that rejection as fuel to overcome adversity in life. And like I said, I was shot by a stray bullet, wrong place, wrong time type of situation. Right, right, right. I, the bullet was never removed. So I live with it every single day. It's a reminder that like, yo, every morning I get to wake up, I get another crack at this thing we call life, another opportunity continue to push the envelope and go a step further and, um, you know, be a beacon to people from my neighborhood, people who watch me come up, um, you know, who live vicariously through my, through my music, through my journey, through my story. And that happens a lot, you know, from my international travels and touring to people who see me back home at one point that, um, you know, see me at a younger age to tell them all the things I wanted to do. And now they're watching those things come into fruition. So I think even just being a staple in your community and, and leading by example mm -hmm. could spark somebody else's creativity or their motivation and hustle, like you said. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact, bro. Yeah, man, because, you know, we got we, we need a lot more positive, you know what I mean, influences out there. You know what I mean? And, yo, obviously, you got a story to tell, you know what I mean? Because that's just a testimony, you know what I mean, to, like you said earlier, whoever, whoever, whatever you believe in, God, the universe, or whatever it might be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you meant to be here. You're here for a reason, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. and, and, um, and people could that people could resonate with that, you know what I'm saying? So it's a it's, it's good thing that, you know what I mean, you're using your influence for good. And, and, and turn, like, you know what I mean? That shit just got you all over the place because I see you all over the map touring and shit like we supposed to get up the other day i mean um whenever that was a few a little while back like i mean he was gonna talk with currency spitter what up spitter shout out to the homie you know what i mean shout out to smokers club or yeah yeah now nah, um for the last couple of years i've been touring uh internationally all throughout europe west coast midwest i've had the honor to do mm -hmm. some of the, that touring uh independently and then on certain uh tours i jumped on tour with uh currency code of the friend phony people few other acts um you know so just been really blessed to plant my flag in different areas of the world and um continue mm -hmm. to spread that retech love you know what i'm saying um that's a fact yeah. but yeah it's always interesting how those things come full circle you know i remember the first time i met you right was right. at it might have been more than 10 years ago i, I think yeah yeah, um, yeah. At, yeah. A, at quad studio or premiere studio facts, and facts. something smokers club related um, mm -hmm. and you know, full circle, you know, when you shot me to follow however many months ago, and then I, I, I seen like my homie was telling me like, yo, you and G shit connect. And I'm looking, and I'm like, I know, right. G like, right, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, so right. that, that just goes to show you, you know, like there was a time where I was, uh, going to community college for a couple semesters and all I would do would, would, uh, was smoke weed and frankly sell weed at that time mm -hmm. right facts, um, facts. 
you know, and I would be listening to Wiz or Currency or Cuddy and that blog era, right? And now, you know, I'm blessed to say that I've not only been on tour with him, but I have records with people like Smoke Dizza, with people like Styles P, you know, so right. it, it, it's, it's interesting how you can manifest things. And my life um, has always been like an example of alchemy, you know, um, thinking something mm -hmm. and then bringing it into fruition and manifesting it. And I always try to be people you know as long as you have the work ethic as long as you have positive intention and you grind it hard like all the things that you could imagine and more will will come right to your doorstep you know they fall right in place you know what i mean they may not fall right in your lap but they gonna fall in place as they should when they should time you know accordingly you know yeah. what i mean that, that's for real for real you know what i mean shout out to shout out to dizzy too man shout out you know what i mean all the homies and shit man you know it's, it's been a long long road you know what i mean everybody's still here doing what they doing prospering thriving you know what i mean in their own perspective lanes you know what i mean so and that's what this shit is about man you know it's about everybody being able to <clears throat> carve out their own lane you know what I'm saying? Find that niche, you know what I mean? And then go go hard, you know what I mean? Go full throttle, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, execution, application, you got to apply that shit, you know? Right. And um, and that, that, that's where that, that's where it comes, you know what I mean? And that shit got you leading up because, you know, Styles P, shout out to Styles P, man. Shout out to Pharmacy Phantoms, man, you know what I'm saying? My guy, like, I, I love, I, it's crazy because I love that Styles, you know what I mean? He believing in the digital assets, you know what I mean? He got good people around him. Shout out to Dutch, what up, brother? You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, man, it's like, it's a full circle type of thing, you know what I'm saying? To have people understanding like just the importance of like entrepreneurship, but then like, um, you know, this this new digital era that we that we in, you know what I mean? And um as a matter of fact, yo, shout out to Trinidad, man. What up, what up? Oh, yes, T bro. James, T James in the building, man. Listen, man, what up, brother? Like, uh, how, how's it been working with him? Oh uh, man, he's been one of the most genuine cats in the industry that I've uh, met along the years. Um, you know, the way we initially met uh, I was doing an event for NFT NYC and it was kind of a watershed moment for me. This was a few years back. Um, and I had like 3000 plus people pull up to the event. I locked mm -hmm. down like three floors of Quad studio and I had a bunch of right. different celebrities, athletes, major brands show up. Um, and I'm talking about the, the like even the owner of Quad was like, I've never seen nothing like this ever. Mm -hmm. Like line two, three blocks down, and coincidentally, <laughs> somebody was like, Yo, Trinidad James is here. So I'm like, huh? You know, and mm -hmm. then uh Buster has shown up, a couple of different people mm -hmm. showed up. So I had right. to uh, you know to meet these people. They got to watch me perform. Um, and then after that, a couple of weeks mm -hmm. after that, um, a bunch of these tech brands were like, Hey, arts, we have this budget and we need to throw like it was technically the first like crypto con uh, festival. Um, nobody right. would sit there and say it, it was that, but it definitely. <laughs> um, and so I had the opportunity to put some of my favorites and people that I, I um, consider peers, you know, right. so I was able to book uh, Buster Rhymes, Trinidad, Nori. Um, that is where yeah. I met Styles P because he was invited as a guest. And then right. me and him it off. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, from that, it, it started from TJ just, uh, Trinidad just showing up to my event, um, mm -hmm. got to meet. Then I hit him with a phone call because one of the companies that was involved in that event, like one of the guys owned like the most amount of gold in the world or like the biggest oh. gold. Market. So I right, thought right, right. Uh, if we did all go everything for that sponsor. Um, so called him, locked mm -hmm. in the show. And then from there, mm -hmm. we did a record Boom. together. We've been um we've been hosting the dad brunch for the last two years together at our Basel mm -hmm. Miami, um mm -hmm. you know so you build bridges with people that's how that's how that's I like it. Yeah, it's, it might start from a moment, it might start from one that's song, yeah. and then you, you build a rapport with those people, and then that's over the course of time, it, you know you and that person collaborations become like a a world of its own. I always look at it as like um you know for reject dreams. I always model my company after like a new age Marvel or X-Men, right? So when mm -hmm. I do get into these pockets, if you ever used to read comic books as a kid, you, you if you have the Deadpool issue and then boom, you'll have Wolverine make an appearance. When I collaborate with right. these different artists and people I consider friends and peers of mine, I always look at it as, 
at that aspect, right? Whenever mm-hmm. me and Trinidad mm-hmm. come together, boom, it's a collaborative. When whenever That's me it. and Styles or anybody else come together, you know, we, we create in our own uh we create our own little sub worlds, you know what I'm saying? Facts, facts, facts. That's how it should be, man. Listen, cause listen, it's all about community. You know what I mean? Especially like like we taking it back and especially in the web three world, you know what I mean? Where we dive where we in the NFTs, crypto, blockchain, whatever it might be, AI, you know what I'm saying? Like it's all a community vibe, you know what I mean? It's about the tribe vibe. You know what I mean? And so it's like one hand watch the other and we all look out for one another. You know what I'm saying? And and it, everybody is able to thrive because we can all eat, man. That's why, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't hate over here, man. We don't compete, man. We collaborate, man. We're gonna keep telling you that, you know what I mean? See, I get it. Y'all thick skulls, because this is what you know. What I mean, the, the future is leading towards. You know what I'm saying? Like AI is about to take a lot of jobs. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people gonna have to pivot, and you know what I mean, and really learn how to navigate out here. You know what I'm saying? So why not be able to listen? Like 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 us just said, man. Like you know. And shout out to my guy Jarrell, you know what I'm saying? What up, bro? Yeah. You know what I mean? You already know, like, bro was like, man, I know G, you know what I mean? Because listen, because we've been doing this for a minute and we're still here, you know what I'm saying? And we got yeah. a story to tell, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's not just even about us, you know what I'm saying? It's about the give back, and it's about what we could do to offer opportunities to, you know what I mean? Men, women listening, looking, watching, whatever it might be, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man, we all got something to say. We all got something to offer. Like, you know what I'm saying? We all got some kind of value in this world to offer. Like everybody, all of us may not know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. Get around some good mentors, get around some good people. Just like oh, I said, like, listen, man, you know, have like-minded individuals around you so that, you know what I mean? You could soak up some game, you know what I mean? And you could find your own lane, you know? A hundred percent. Yeah. I think it's all about being consistent mm-hmm. too, you know? I think sometimes uh, the ideas that you sure. have, if, when you're consistent, those ideas will develop over time. So then you know exactly what you need to be doing, right? Fact, fact. You prepare, like you said earlier, you prepare for that moment, right? Um, right? I think, you know, for the last 10 plus years, I've been throwing events. I, I had um, paintings for my music already, comic books, uh, clocks, mm-hmm. sculptures, all these type of things. So when mm-hmm. NFTs and Web3 and crypto came around, I was like, I don't consider myself a Web3 artist. I consider myself an artist because I'm still right. doing stuff in Web2, activating mm-hmm. a lot of brands there, still working with major companies mm-hmm. there. But I'm still, I don't even like to call things Web3 or NFTs. I'm still doing business in tech, right? right. Um, right. And I think those things came into fruition because I was so ahead of my time. I always call it the Cinderella moment. You know? I love, People I love. Disc- discovered arts and what reject <laughs> was. It wasn't like I was just, yo, creating NFTs. It was like, yo, this dude had technically NFTs before NFTs was even a thing. NFTs, so big, yeah. That kind of like uh, shows the moment. Like even what I was telling you um, before the, the interview started, even in this Arts Basel, I call it Arts Basel because I've been doing it for so long. <laughs> but even this Arts Basel 2023, I have four events that I was either booked to perform or to produce. Um, and I had no time to network, right? That means no time to go to other people's parties and just shake hands and kiss babies. Yeah, it'll be like that. Mm-hmm. And across the street, somebody told me Kanye West was there, one of my musical idols, um, artistic, creative side. And that was an example of just being prepared in the moment. When I went across the street, right. I was able to hand him a sticker. I was able to hand him a poster. And I was able to hand him a new T-shirt from my new album, Then I Met You, that comes integrated with tech. Mm-hmm. So when you scan right. the bottom of the shirt, you get the physical shirt and you get a digital version of the shirt that you mm-hmm. can get on the blockchain. And just right. keeping that aspect of me walking in with the camera, him meeting me, and then me handing him off to my merch guy so he could demo the product, it right, kind of right. mine in that moment, right? That was wild. That's wild. And that just yeah. shows you like being prepared, right? You know, um, being prepared so then when you do meet the people that might inspire you creatively or people that you look up and looked up to or look up to in certain ways that you're able to leave them with a QR code that goes back to your socials and your music or whatever it is. You know, oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, being prepared yeah. for that moment, you know, and the only way yeah. that you can be prepared for that is by muscle memory. Right. By doing right. it enough time no, to where it's natural it's second nature to you. Exactly. You know? you know what I mean? Yeah, man. And like you said, man, consistency and persistency. But listen, like, 
<laughs> hey, buddy, talk about it. <laughs> Johnny, everybody want to do it. It's like everybody yeah. want to do it, want to do something. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you ask somebody, they gonna be like, oh, yeah, nah, if I had the chance, opportunity, I would. But man, are you getting up off your lazy ass? You know what I mean? And, ah. and are, are you are you not going to be scary in the moment? You know what I mean? And are you going to be professional in the moment? Or, right. You know what I mean? Or are you going to carry your point across like properly? You know what I mean? And right. so that, you know, um, the person, whoever it may be, especially if it's a the man like Kanye West, you know what I'm saying, that you in front of, you know what I'm saying, like he's watching presentation, he's watching how you move and how you talking to him. You know what yeah. I mean? Can you, can you, talk properly, you know what I'm saying, without cursing, without acting like you, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. You got some type of intelligence in your head, you know what I mean? All these things matter, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it comes certain times when, like bro said, man, like preparation is key, man, and preparation is time in it, and it's never no excuses, you know what I'm saying? Because what's that, what they say, like shit, your first shot is your, is your best shot, like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, you know uh, I mean? first impression twice. Right. You dig? Like, yeah, the first impression is what it is. And, and, and that's what, that's what, yay, yay. You know what I'm saying? He come in, he, he only remembering that first impression. You know right. what I'm saying? How was your approach to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, all that is key. You know what I mean? And, but salute to yay too, man. You know what I mean? For, for the man out here being a billion, billionaire and going viral on social media every <laughs> damn week, if, you know what I'm saying? Not every day. Like, he, bro, he always sitting he, in a Jamaican restaurant, just chilling, eating. You know what I mean? And then, and that was receptive to you. Like that's the right. thing too, right? You know, because a lot of people, you know, they got those. You know, he's off limits. Like don't chill. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? They are gonna give you the Heisman, stiff arm you, like you dig. So it's like nah, that, you know what I mean? It's just the fact that he's receptive. You know what I mean? Because I, I truly believe. You know what I mean? I, I never met Ye, but I do truly believe that. Um, that like you know he cares about the creatives you know what i'm saying like, he awesome. cares about you know what i'm saying the artists you know what i'm saying and not just musicians but just artists like anybody that's creating anybody that's a visionary you know what i mean anybody that got something to say and got like i said earlier value to bring to the table you dig right yeah of course and you know um, that was something that you know if i'm just being transparent even my videographer was like when i went across the street he's like yo do you want to be um do you want to be seen in the video with him right now with, with all of this? <laughs> and I said, yo, to be honest, you know, by no means do I, like, I have a lot of Jewish friends. Like, I love everybody. Like, I'm a mm-hmm. Puerto Rican kid from Brook- East New York, Brooklyn. You know, mm-hmm. I, have, I have a lot of brothers and sisters from all different diverse uh, diasporas uh, in the palette, you know. Um, but what I told my videographer was, listen, you know, even if I don't agree with that view, it has that has, that's apples and oranges to what he's done for creative and continue right. to push the envelope for artists to even be able right. to express themselves. Right? Yeah, man. And, if, yeah. and I would be totally a hypocrite if I didn't go introduce myself because mm-hmm. part, you know, I remember when I first got the graduation album and college dropout late registration where I'm opening the, up these albums and they have artwork from Murakami on these things. And mm-hmm. at the time, I don't even know who more Tommy is, right? And Sheesh, I got right. my research, right? Yeah, he put so, us up on all of that, man, yeah. Right. So now, fast forward years later, a couple years ago, I was renting in uh, Yahoo Finance. I was the first mm-hmm. rapper to ever sell an audio-visual NFT in a blue-chip auction house with more Tommy, right. Cause, and Salvatore Dali. Art Hello. Levels, not even hip-hop levels, right? Hello. So, yeah. I say that to say, if me as a younger teenager and kid wasn't exposed of that world through the Kanye's, the Pharrell's, the people right. like two tips of the world, right? right. Um, then you might not have this version of arts, right? You might have this uh, version of arts where I grew up on mm-hmm. Biggie, Nas, Outkast, Hove, mm-hmm. right? But that artistic mm-hmm. side, that abstract side came from pioneers and trailblazers like that. And that's what's yeah. for me to always, um, you know, not just be here for for rappers and songwriters and singers, mm-hmm. but to be here for all artists, whether it be visual artists, whether it be fashion designers, yeah. comedians. I don't book them all. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, so that, that, got something to bring to the table. Yeah, man. As long as you're dealing with originality, creativity, 
you know what I'm saying? Like this, this, this is like when we say lanes, man, it's, it's multiple lanes. It's, it's hundreds of lanes, it's thousands of lanes. It's, right. some, it's a highway, people. It's a highway. We all got our own lane. You know what I'm saying? On this highway of life, you dig? So it's like, yeah, man, like why not? You know what I mean? And yeah, I, I respect that too, bro. Cause you know, a lot of people don't like a pretty person like him don't got to show the love he's shown, especially when he get, uh, portrayed the way he does in the media, you know what I mean? So that, that gives a lot of people like a false perception of what he might be or how he might act, you know what I'm saying? And, right. and um, you know, just, uh, you know, I, I wanna, I'm want i going to jump into the NFT thing too, just, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm surprised Ye hasn't, I, I know, I know he's, I, I know he's a, um, I know he believes somewhat in the digital assets. I don't know exactly like on what scale, but right. it's just crazy that how like, people and the artists and the real creatives out there a lot of them don't know that like this this nft digital assets was really designed for them like you know what i'm saying and it is designed for you to be able to have like ultimate like freedom when it comes to your craft you know what i'm saying and when it comes to benefiting and getting the rewards or for your craft or for your hard work you know what i mean so right like um was that album that that was the one you gave me was that the one alone in the metaverse no, that's the new EP I just dropped called Then I Met You. So then um, I Met You, yeah. I Met You, yeah. So Then I Met You is inspired off of my international travels in Europe and touring mm. out there. And I wanted to create a club slash rap dance album. Something It's yeah. only like 11 minutes long, but it's something to keep the feet moving. Um, one right. thing I noticed while I was on tour in Europe, um, unlike America sometimes, especially from the culture we come from, Sometimes you walk into the club and you performing and you got dudes ice grilling and just keeping a serious face on just right, because right. they be like tough or they try to keep their cool, right? Um, yeah. When I was in Europe, I was experiencing a lot of couples. I'm talking about guys with their girls and I'm hopping off stage dancing and they letting their girl dance with me. They, they've they yeah. danced too. <laughs> you know, so it was a whole thing of like, yo, the appreciation mm-hmm. there for the music, fuck the cool shit, we're going to let loose. Right. And what that made yeah, me yeah. Was that made me get back home and be like, you know what? I want to create a soundtrack mm-hmm. for people where they could just straight dance to, um, and That's they can right. vibe. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah. Create so. them good vibes and good times, bro. Like you know what I mean? Some good memories. That's what life about, you know. And you know, us coming from New York, you know what I mean? Brooklyn, of course. It's like um, it's 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 imperative, man. I tell my brothers and my sisters this all the time from the block, from the neighborhoods. Listen, man, it's imperative. You know what I mean? That you get your passport, that you go see the world, you go see different things. Even like, even before you even go get the passport, but make sure you do that. But even before you do that, like travel the country, you know what I'm saying? Right. Every state got something different to offer. Every state is like a different survival mode. Like, you know what I'm saying? Different survival code. Like every right. state, like, you know what I'm saying? Got something different to offer, right? It, 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 as far as like employment, as far as like um, salary, whatever it may be, right? Also, so it's like, but you dig, like, you know what I mean? Different industries, like, reside in different cities, you know what I mean? So no matter what you're doing, you know what I mean? You could pick up on something in a prospective city, right? But, um, but yeah, man, like, y- you got to get beyond your normal, usual borders, you know what I'm saying? And life and in your head, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's like, that's what that's what really keeps us from seeing the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? That's what keeps the picture real small. Like, you know right. what I mean? Like, we're looking at this, the, the, the um, TV screen instead of that big silver screen, you know what I mean? And right, right, right. you got to open our eyes up, you know what I mean? Especially as creatives, right? Because <clears throat> if you're stuck in a box, how fucking creative are you really being? How creative can you really be? Like, right. if you're stuck in a box, like if you're not willing to learn, willing, willing to pivot, you know what I mean? Willing to struggle, go through some challenges, willing to sacrifice, like, like how creative you want to really be? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I, like, you know, being creative is like a story of ups and downs, trials and tribulations. I mean, that roller coaster of life, you know what I mean? That pain and struggle, you know what I mean? The yeah. love, you know what I mean? So it's like and until we out there in life, we living it, you know what I mean? And experiencing different cultures and different shit outside of our, our regular, you know, inner circle, you know what I mean? Or, or, or atmosphere, our, our regular environment. 
like you're not really living, but then you, you're not really able to even add that value. Like, you know what I mean? Like my guy, he about to go on vacation, you know what I'm saying? Out the country, you know what I'm saying? Again, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this yeah. is what this is what you're supposed to do, you know what I mean? It's like you get that good vibe, you get that inspiration, you know what I mean? Because I know, I know myself, anybody from New York, like always said it, like, you know, you, you go out of town, even if you go to take your ass to Atlanta, like, you know what I mean? For a, a week or so, whatever, weekend, whatever, you come back, you know what I mean? You got a different, you got a different sense, a different feeling, you know what I mean? You got a little bit more of an inspiration, like, you know what I mean? You know, open your eyes up to a little bit something more. You learn something more, you know what I mean? You saw something from a different perspective, even if it wasn't something new, you did. No. So it's like, yeah, that's key, man. That's key, man. A hundred percent, man. I think uh, your environment, mm -hmm. like you said, dictates sometimes your outlook on life and even the potential possibilities, right? So like literally what you said, when you expand your horizons and you kind of like zoom out from what you know and you start educating yourself on the things that you don't know or in environments where the culture is different, it allows you to be a little bit more versatile. It allows you to kind of have that, uh, you know, that wide lens to where you can see right. more. You know, um, so yeah, travel and, and different cultures is a big part of like me learning how to be a better artist, me learning how to even just be a better human, um, right. in general. Right. And I think I've applied that to every part of my life. I've applied that to my social skills. So that's mm -hmm. allowed me to, uh, deal with different companies in the event world. Right. Um, right. That's allowed me to deal with different types of artists. I have collaborations from perf Japanese performance artists, the Italian chef. You know, oh, we, like, yeah. So I think um, I think that's a big key on it. The fact that mm -hmm. you know when I grew up in East New York, you got a lot of people who didn't leave their two three block radius, right? <laughs> or that Jeez. borough, they didn't leave At Brooklyn. All. They don't go to Harlem. They don't At go. To, they don't go to the Heights. They don't go. Uh -huh. You know, music has brought me any and everywhere, you know, Fact, um, same, same. You know third world countries like Bosnia to fucking Amsterdam, mm -hmm. Paris, LA and everything in between. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So that has allowed me to understand like my bigger purpose and bigger mission, which goes far beyond than just being a rapper. Um, you know, it, it goes me being an artist, me being a mentor for some from others, for others, uh, being a big brother, being an example, mm -hmm. like how you mm -hmm. said, somebody that, people from where we from and your hood, your neighborhood, um, could sit there and be like, yo, if Arts did it, I could do it. If G did it, I could do it. Or, yo, Arts mm -hmm. is traveling out. Maybe I should get that passport and start traveling out too. You know, and I think right. similar with NFTs and blockchain and Web3 stuff, right? I think all of this stuff is just another tool, man, right? Mm -hmm. Another tool to put on your belt, right? My father used That's to it. say growing up all the time, there's a million ways where you can get that, right? So, Come on you now. You could go out there and sell art in this way. You could sell it physically. You could sell it digitally. You could sell it on ETH. You could sell it on Tezos, right? But for me, I'm the type of person where I always loved, you know, like, I always love having as many options as I can, right? I'm still selling shit in the physical. I'm still mm -hmm. selling shit in the digital, right? Yeah. I'm tapping into yeah. both of those things because why cut off the other one? Like, I grew up listening to cats like Wu-Tang, man. They whole shit was mm -hmm. authenticity and having all the different flavors, you know? Mm -hmm. Everybody right, had their right. own style. Ghost and Ray, Method had his own style. RZA had diversity. his own style. Yeah. So that diversity is what made you fall in love with them as a brand and as a mm -hmm. group and as a lifestyle, right? They're one of the biggest lifestyles in music ever, if not the biggest. I know mm -hmm. cats in Germany that I go to their crib and it's a Wu Tang shrine. Just to my yeah, guy, man. Yeah. you know. But and shout out to Wu Tang too, man. Listen, yeah. man, they just got their Las Vegas residency, man. Sheesh, that's just gonna be lit. I know oh, yeah? to a show, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, they just got yeah. their residency, man. Twenty twenty four, shit, man. Big things in store. You dig? Yeah, and it. I, I don't want to let the cat out the bag, but there's some reject. Wu Tang things in the works. Let's just say that. Okay, come on. Right. Hey, you know, on a blockchain exclusive. Yeah. On a blockchain yeah. exclusive. Y'all ain't here. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't here. here you know, God willingly, everything coming to fruition. But I say that to say, right. like, you know, one thing about them is they had their own style, right? Um, right. And it's so ironic because my my homie Daniel, um, one of my reject dreamers in Germany, uh, he's the biggest Wu Tang fan. And when I went to his crib. Like the second or third time I was in Germany, he had a helmet that said reject on it. So the whole crib is Wu-Tanged out. 
But then he got the Reject Dream shit right next to the Wu Tang shit. <laughs> and I always, you know, to all my homies, I always say Reject La Familia, and I always say Reject Forever. And I didn't realize that Wu Tang says Wu Tang Forever. So copy, 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 copy. Yeah. Right? Um, but when you look at going back to what I was saying, like you got to use as many tools because you never know what pocket is going to open or what lane, as you said, is going to open for you first. And then the more versatile you are, the more uh, possible it is to get to different people, right? That's so it, you man. mentioned yeah. earlier uh, the Alone in the Metaverse album, right? The Alone in the Metaverse album was such an interesting moment for me, right? Because I went from having a lot of success in Web3 in those two years, right? right. Then creating an album called Alone in the Metaverse and bringing celebrities from the Web2 world into the Web3 world, right? That's right, exactly. Now, when I did that, I fell back from Web3 for like a whole year, and I toured the world. And you know why I did that? Because I started to realize in the space that there were more creators there than consumers. So there were more people who who were artists like me that wanted to sell Mm -hmm. you things versus just fans. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? My talent is better off traveling the world in this next year and a year and a half. And showing consumers what the metaverse is, what the capabilities of blockchain, digital artwork, and all these things that come into combination. And that's what I did. Most people would have kept rocking the train while they had while they had the heat. But I said, you know what? The ultimate boss, as my boy Real always tells me, is the fan. That's the ultimate boss. You know, Side and fact, yeah, come on, they the last word, man. You dig? And listen, man, listen, it's all about the customer. It's all about the people. You know what I mean? Because when you when you serving the customer, serving the people, you don't even ever gotta worry about how much money you're making because the shit gonna always flow. You know what I'm saying? Business gonna always flow, and then you know you're gonna be able to give back as well. You know what I mean? Because everything flows, man. As long as you doing it for the right cause and the right reasons, trust me, man, it's gonna always work out. But you gotta put that hard work in because you know it's about multitasking. It's not about being lazy especially in these days and times you know what i'm saying like you know you know you can't put all your eggs in one basket guys and girls you dig so it's like just like when it comes to investments you know what i mean you might invest a little bit over here in stock you might invest a little bit over here in digital asset in this coin whatever it may be right so listen man diversity is key you know what i mean even when it comes to portfolio you know what i'm saying right. that's a whole nother topic but even when it comes to portfolio like portfolio the strength in your portfolio is in its diversity you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. not just not about having one stock or or one coin you know what i'm saying but like diversity is key as well you got to spread it out you know what i'm saying and um yeah, nah, that, that that that's dope, bro. Because you know, digital assets also allow you to do that, and and it's teaching us, it's it's teaching us um, digital assets. What the people don't realize, the digital assets is teaching us financial literacy. You know what I'm saying? Like whether we know it or not. You know what I mean? These just new concepts and phrases and shit. Well, new, and us just bringing it up. You know what I mean? Especially in the hip hop world and the communities. But um, yeah, man, like financial literacy is. It's something we need to focus on big time, you know what I mean? And and crypto, you know what I mean? Digital assets, like it really, it really helps us own in on financial literacy because coming from the music industry, entertainment industry, like, you know what I mean? We we only taught to get the bag, like get the bag, get the money, get the bag, get the money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But motherfuckers don't tell you like, okay, well, now go sit down over here with this financial advisor. You know what I'm saying? Okay, maybe you might want to go sit down and talk to him about, you know what I mean, some future investments. Maybe you might want to go sit down with this accountant and discuss, you know what I mean, your spending habits. Like, none of that ain't discussed. None of that ain't brought up. You dig? Right. It's just get the bag, get the bag, get the bag. And you, know, and you don't know how to count- sustain that success. You don't know how to sustain it. And countless times, like, people get the bag, whether you're the athlete, the artist, whatever it is. And, and motherfuckers fumble the bag, you know? And, 20 and, years and, later, how did, how did you take that... Two mil, twenty mil, and turn that shit to two hundred mil or Facts. two bill, right? But sometimes, Facts. most of the time, you see people in debt because you give a nineteen-year-old, twenty-seven-year-old kid this much amount of money, and they don't have mm-hmm. no accounting skills, they don't have the right mentors, Facts. the right financial nah. infrastructure, and they nah. don't know how to maintain that, right? So, nah. I think, you know, a friend told me this a little while ago, and it it rings true, especially when you mention like AI coming into the fall and all these different things. I, I think we're going into a future where everybody is going to have the same tools, but it's going to matter most on who has the best ideas and who can right. execute them. 
That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. Me and you might have Back to stay cool. You got the hammer. You got the nails. I got the hammer. I got the nails. But if I have more experience or I understand how to use that to make my job more efficient and execute it better, then you're going to just be hammering away one nail at a time waiting to catch up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think that, that's the key. You know, educating yourself and figure out how you can implement it to make it work for you. You know, um, I think, I think that's the beauty, right? Like, and it's like what you said earlier, having your own path, right? After the years of touring I did and Dude, I signed thousands of autographs, man. Right. <laughs> Life changing for me. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but I noticed that, you know, sometimes it's just the relationship that you build with the oh, fan. Yeah. Right. They, their oh, first yeah. production is always the music. But mm -hmm. you wouldn't imagine how much more of a and I'm talking about there's people out there that got reject dreams tattooed on their body. Right. Crap, Which believe, yeah. speaks high volumes for me. But sometimes mm -hmm. it's them coming to see the concert and me smoking a joint with them outside in the backyard for five minutes. Off top. Is the connection. You know what I'm saying? Off top. Relationships over money, man. Relationships over money all day, every day. You know what I mean? That's a fact because I tell people, well, I tell companies more than I tell like people. I tell companies and brands, it's a lot. It's like, <clears throat> got all this money, got all this tech or, you know, whatever industry you may be in. If, you, if whatever you're doing is not resonating with the people, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. the tech don't speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah, I know we got AI, but the tech still don't speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? Right. But how are you touching the people? How are you making that connection? Because at the end of the day, it's about that connection. Like, yeah, a person might come and, you know, buy your product or come buy your service once, you know, but what's going to bring them back? What's going to keep making them come back. You know what I mean? Spending right. their money with you, spending their time or their energy and their effort on you or your company, or your brand. You know, it's it's only going to be that connection, that relationship that's in place. You know what I mean? Or some sort of understanding. You know what I'm saying? Where people just feel like, um, you know what I mean? They they understand your story. Yeah. No, 100%, man. I think, um, you know, everything that has been, you know, what anybody could deem as an accomplishment or success is always rooted in that. You know, when I had success in NFTs early on, it was because I was hosting a clubhouse every Monday night for two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Letting, community. Yeah, mm -hmm. building that community there, letting people vent, mm -hmm. letting people get free game from my experience, encouraging mm -hmm. artists that didn't, couldn't, that wasn't in the space. Yo, jump in. Don't overthink it. Mm -hmm. Just throw mm -hmm. something up there. You know what I'm saying? Doing raffles, giveaways to where we don't have celebrities in my rooms to people receiving art and crying. I'm talking about grown men mm -hmm. crying and fucking yeah. 200, 300 people mm -hmm. in the clubhouse, right? But it all was rooted in that event, in events, mm -hmm. right? When people come out, it's like, yo, even though Arts is over there chilling in the section with Nori, when he walked in and seen me, he still said, what up? Right, he still right, gave right, me right. the day to hand me a t-shirt and sign it. You know what I'm saying? He still let my mm -hmm. little nephew come to the brunch with, with, with him and Trinidad. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it's about being human, you know, because That's it, man. I think the more you do that, the more you find, like, the people who really appreciate you for you, right? And oh, you'll yeah. be surprised, like, I think a few years ago, it was a good example of it when uh, I think it was Tyler, the creator, he threw his music festival and he brought out Drake, right? And Drake's arguably the biggest artist in the world, but his fans was booing because they wanted... Right. They wanted Tyler or Frank Ocean. And it was like, yo, why the hell would you boo, boo Drake? He wanted the goats, right? But it showed in that small moment that there's a good portion of this world that they love what they love. They and they don't care they about love. popular demand. Right. You know? yeah. And, and you I can't feel no way about it. But, like, yeah. You know, but that audience, my, their God is, isn't Drake. Their, God, their, okay. their person that they look up to are mm -hmm. cast like Tyler the Creator, right? That's so it, I think yeah. that shows you that <laughs> To pave your own little, uh, you know, your own fan base, your own community. That's it. That's Most it. people will appreciate you like you're the biggest star in the world, even if you're not. Or they'll bet on you as a stock, right? And that's how that's I let, like to look yeah. at. It. I'm a stock, be. and the people who bet on me, everything from the sponsors to the companies that I've collaborated with, to the artists mm -hmm. I've collaborated with, to my collectors, to people who buy my physical merch. They're all investing in the trajectory of arts and reject dreams continuing to fall. 
You know what I'm saying? Should, yeah, because they should yeah. want that to to grow. They should want to be involved in it and be able to have that good um that good energy to see it grow and evolve. You know what I'm saying? Into in the potential that it has to be to go. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and that's what it should be. You know, because a lot of people don't like to get involved and back people or or support people because you know they feel like maybe you know they're not like fully invested in it or they're not gonna get nothing out of it. But it's like, listen, man, you, you gotta change that mentality because you know blessings come. You blocking your blessings, man. Blessings come by blessing others you know and blessing yeah. others is not oh shit your arts yo i'm gonna look out for you today i'm gonna do this for you today but shit man yo i'm a, on the low i'm expecting something back like when i yeah. nah yeah. man like after at the kindness and goodness of your heart you know what i mean let it fly you know what i'm saying and don't even watch and look at about where it's coming back from you know what i'm saying because it ain't going to come back from arts it'll come back from somewhere else, a whole other direction you wasn't even thinking of, you know what I'm saying? And, yes. and you know, it's like, the, that, that, that's key, you know what I mean? Because especially when it comes to like generational wealth, a lot of these phrases that we kicking around a lot more than we used to back in the days, it's like, we got to change the mentality for us to even get to generational wealth and these type of things, you know what I mean? With cryptocurrencies and NFT digital assets, you know, and the blockchain, of course, you know what I'm saying? Have the capability of doing for us little people, you know what I mean? We got to change our mentality first, you know what I mean? We got to move forward, you know what I mean? We got to reprogram myself you know I mean? we've got to deprogram then we got to reprogram you know what i mean and i'm having these conversations with a lot of people you know i mean across the country too you know what i'm saying and you know a lot of, uh, some people are uh, you know so far programmed that it's gonna take a little while you know what i'm saying yeah. but i have hope for i have hope for my people some of those some of those stubborn people but i think people like myself and people like yourself are living, breathing examples, you know? When I met you 10 plus years ago, I would never imagine that our, resurf our relationship will resurface to fucking blockchain, facts. right? Facts, facts, but, facts, yeah. You know, it, shown, it, it showcased to me that you changed your lifestyle, right? Right. You changed mm -hmm. some of your interests, right? right? And same thing with me, right? So I think the more people are open-minded, the more people could allow themselves to be blessed in different industries and different worlds that they might not have ever expected themselves, right? When I was a little kid, right, my mom and dad were both visual artists, my uncles too. They all painted, they all were drawing, right? I couldn't even draw a stick figure, my bro. Uh, <laughs> How is you to tell my grandmother, like, yo, grandma, why is it that I'm not good in this, but everybody else? <laughs> is so what happened to me? <laughs> then I found music, right? And then fast forward, now I'm selling art. Right. So now my grandmother looks back at that moment. And she tells me she goes all the time. She says, listen, all your family were capable of drawing, but none of them sold art. You're the only ones who on gallery shows and this, that, and the third, right? Mm -hmm. So right. sometimes even the things that you grow up on that you might not be capable of doing, it doesn't mean that that thing or that interest is not meant to be a part of your life in another way. Right. Exactly. Um, yeah. You, you don't know, not even know how it is. Like you don't, you know, and that, that's the. That, I'm glad you said it because that's the most important part of being willing and being open and receptive. Because you don't know how it's gonna come. So I feel like, bro, I'm, it ain't come this way the way I thought it was gonna come. I should have did it. Like yo, but you blocking your blessings. Like you gotta, like, you gotta woo side that shit. You know what I mean, let it flow. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then let it. You gotta be like, you can't receive something that you're not being receptive for it. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. I think in this day and age where a lot of people mess up too is that through social media and media in general, you get caught um, always comparing your life to maybe right. peers or other celebrities or people in your mm -hmm. field, right? But mm -hmm. a mentor of mine told me recently, um, he told me, I was going through like a little, you know, when you have those weeks where you're going maybe through a little bit of a mental slump, right? Oh, all the time, man. As entrepreneurs, all the time, man. All the time. That's, another, that's a whole nother combo that we got to get into that, especially as far as like men's mental health and all that. But yeah, yeah. But not to cut you off. But yeah. yeah, 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 no, for sure. And, you know, often my thing is I have like that Kobe or Michael Jordan syndrome, right? I can do something mm -hmm. really great. And in the moment when I do that really, really great thing, the moment mm -hmm. I get back home, I'm already looking, saying to myself, mm -hmm. like, damn, that was great. And everybody thought that was great. All but right. what am I going to do next to outdo myself? Next, and when yeah. I can't immediately think of that next great thing, then what right. happens to me is I get a little bit in that mental funk or that fog, mm -hmm. right? I right. beat myself yeah. up. I get depressed. Mm -hmm. This, that, and third. Mm -hmm. So, um, my friend, he um, he was on the phone with me, and he said, 
Arts, I don't watch you hustle for a really long time, and you probably outworked everybody I know, he said. But <laughs> he's in the industry too, right? But he said, mm -hmm. I can tell you one thing you haven't done. So in my mind, I'm like, what you mean? One thing that I, I done did, did almost everything I could think of. He said, you haven't got out of God's way. And when he mm. said that, I stopped and I'm like, wow. He said, mm. let go of the wheel. Stop trying to control the outcome and just get out of God's way. And the moment he said that to me, mm. I let go mm. and things continue to start to snowball. Exactly. Shit. A lot of times, I think as people in this digital age, we're always comparing ourselves to the next uh, highlight from the next celebrity. We're comparing right, ourselves right. to he is on social media. But you just need to get out of God's way, put in the hard work, and um, and things That's are coming. Get yeah. out the driver's seat, man. Let God get in the driver's seat, man. Take that path. You know, it'd be ego a lot, too. You know what I mean? Because, bro, yeah. I'm a, that's a te I got a testimony the same way, man. And, you know, it's not until, you know, you get out of his way. Like I said, you're blocking your blessings. You dig? Like, yeah. you're blocking your blessings. You know what I mean? Let that and ego you just, and you just want to control, right? You, you want right, that right, control. Right, right, that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control, but you, we don't have that control. And the moment oh, you start man. to realize that, that's the moment where it all starts. Yeah. That, that's when you're able to forgive people. That's when you're able to, you know, maybe not react as, as like you, you might used to, you know what I'm saying, to right. certain situations and to certain people. You know what I mean? That's a fact, bro, because it's all about growing. It's all about growth and building. You know what I mean? And it's, it's about helping others that, you know what I mean, might have a little difficulty with that, you know what I mean? And just and helping them along the way, you know what I mean? Because um, that that is the... um. That's the goal, man. Each one, teach one. Though. But before we get out of here, though, bro, like, let me just ask you, like, what, what's some advice you got? You know, we in a bear market. You know what I mean? I know you, you're a believer in the, in, the, in the value, you know what I'm saying, of the technology, you know what I'm saying, the cryptocurrency and everything involved. Like, um, what, what, what's some advice for people that's, um, that they can look forward to in the year 2024? Um, you know, for me, with, with crypto specifically, <clears throat> Um, I got into crypto because my story and what I was doing artistically already allowed me to kind of like play with house money. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I jumped into the space and immediately I started um, selling my music with art and that created the income for me to then invest in crypto, something that I wasn't familiar about prior to. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I had like a little bit of money in Bitcoin like years and years back, but nothing that I'm fully engulfing myself. So the one piece of advice I would tell people, the people who are educated and the people who are uneducated and trying to learn about these new forms of, uh, you know, finance, right? Um, just to keep it very broad or tech in general, is like, I think if you're in fear of something, you should dive in immediately. I think you right. should continue to try to, like you said, diversify mm -hmm. your portfolio and open mm -hmm. your mind to, you know, um, my guy who just walked in, he always says this, uh, my producer, Tata Soundgar, he says, um, you know, your tax nowadays on the information you don't know, right? So I say that to say the more information you know, and the right information, make sure you vet it, make sure you really verify what you're reading, make yeah. sure you get several sources on that information and then double down, you know, try something new. And more importantly than anything, I always tell people, stay consistent, stay relentless, keep dreaming, keep manifesting, you know, and, and that would be my advice. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, having a uh, sight is, is your eyes working, but having vision that's something that you can't find with a pair of glasses or binoculars. You got to oh, see it before it even happens in your third eye, right? So I say that to say, like, uh, for the dreamers out there, for the entrepreneurs, you know, stay consistent, keep grinding, um, and keep putting out positive and great energy because the universe has a magnificent way of attracting what you put out there. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. That's it. Manifest, 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 man. Live your life, you know what I mean? Stay golden, kings and queens out there, man. Listen, and make sure that I couldn't have said it better myself, you know what I'm saying? And, and stay and believe in yourself, you know what I mean? Don't ever give up on yourself, you know what I'm saying? And value. You know? The V okay. word. Bring okay. value to every situation, right? That's and right, sometimes man. us as artists, we thinking the only value you got is um is me being a rapper, right? Yeah, I'm the nicest, I'm the nicest artist. Yo, I got bars. Yeah. Like, okay. Nah, man. Value is about being able to contribute something that is valuable no matter what role you got to play. So in, in Miami or Basel, I was bringing in value as a book performance act. 
At the same time, I was bringing in value as an event organizer through my community, highlighting other brands and other sponsors, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. when you bring value, one of my biggest superpowers is not just being an artist, is being a dot connector, plugging this person with this person and making a play happen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can bring so much value there that it can make all your artist goals oh, and yeah. all your other goals happen for you. Oh, yeah. So, you oh, know, yeah. just do value, man. Continue That's to bring it, it man. Bring something to the table, you know what I mean? And don't come with your hand out, basically. In other words, you know what I'm saying? And you'll always, you'll always flourish, you know what I mean? That's a fact, man. Listen, man, that's beautiful, man. And shout out to, you know, our bads and all that had passed a little while ago. Like, you know what I mean, beautiful vibes, you know what I mean? Listen, man, it was nothing but blessings and love, you know what I mean, and creativity in store, you know what I mean, for this year, 2024, man, and um, man, big things coming up, you know what I'm saying, we wishing everybody nothing but blessings, you know what I'm saying, for the year, you know what I mean, and um, whatever you want to do, man, make this be the year that you do it, don't hold back, no regrets, you know what I'm saying, go all in, if you got a job, if you got two jobs, start that third job, start your passion, whatever it might be, you know what I'm saying, and go full throttle, you know what I mean, they got the AI tools out there for you, make your life so much easier, so less expensive, you don't need a big team, you know, and if anything, man, in the physical world, man, go get you, like I said, some good mentors, and get you some good team players, man, and rock out, man, you know what I mean, until next time, man. That's my guy Arts over there. You know what I mean? It's G from the G from the blockchain. Listen, man, and um, man, this is how we do, baby. Until next time. Peace. Oh, matter of fact, Arts, get up your social media before we get out of here, man. Yeah, yeah. My name's Arts in all capitals. You can find me on all streaming platforms, A R T Z in all caps. On all social media, I'm at Arts is Artsy. Um, you can go to rejectdreams.com, see what we're doing as a community and a company. But yeah, we got a bunch of new tour dates happening at the top of 2024, bunch of new Jeez. events, um, new merch is out, new music is out right now. And keep supporting my guy G on the blockchain and people like him, creatives like him, entrepreneurs like him. It's your favorite reject dream, my art. I'm out. Peace. Love. Peace, peace, peace. Catch my guy on tour just like that. <laughs>